Hello and welcome. Uh, my name's Lynn from Craft with Bella Jane and today I'm just going to do a short tutorial showing you how to make these little envelopes and they are made from one piece of uh, six by six paper and um, they're really sweet. I'm not over keen on that one to be honest. This one um, I quite like and uh, I've used a little butterfly there on the closure and uh, I'll show you how to make those today. There we are. So these are just a few six by six papers that I've um, I've uh, found in my box and uh, I thought we'd make a start with those. So I think we'll start with this one with the writing and it's quite simple and it's a good idea to use your um, lines on your cutting mat to uh, line up to give you uh, a chance of getting everything even and I have to say that I did find when I was making these that these um, six by six papers sometimes are a bit off but there we are we'll have a go and maybe it's me maybe I'm a bit off my um, cutting so we make the first the first fold there um, on the diagonal and um, there we are the first diagonal and then we want to fold the next one but we don't want to actually fold it we just want to find the center so if we line those up and then we'll just pop a little tiny little uh, crease just there and that will show us where the center is and I'll just mark that there with a little pencil mark just so it shows up clearer for you on the video so that's our fold line that we're going to use so next we need to um, just uh, put that point on that cross that we've made in the center and then fold that into the center like that and then we're going to fold that center in again and we end up with this triangle there with this folded part so we're going to keep our um our uh piece nice and straight we're going to put our point on um a point at the top here and uh, make sure everything's nice and even you can see that it is and then we're going to come in one and a half squares so we we'll use my ruler and um, I'm going to use the side with the metal edge and uh, I'm just going to line that up with my eye and that's one and a half across there and one and a half across there with um, lined up there we are and then we're just going to fold this and make a mark score it really using our finger and the ruler and there it is and you can see we've got a little fold and we're just going to bring that in and just make sure that sits neatly on the bottom line there and then use our bone folder or the backs of our scissors just to get that crease in there <clears throat> and then we go back to our point here and line that up again and then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side we're going to go from here to there one and a half squares and just line that up with your squares on your cutting mat and again just fold that up and give it a nice push with your finger to score that fold in and then we can fold that over again making sure we line this up with the bottom of the other one and there we are we're halfway there but as you see this is what I was meaning that it's just slightly off there and there um, and as you saw I folded it very carefully so 
There we are. What can we do? We can trim it off in a minute. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to make the closure. And the closure is made with this piece here. So again, we're going to line it up with one of our um, points here, making sure it's neat at the bottom. And then we're going to fold this up. So we're going to use my metal bit, line that up along there, using the grid marks on our cutting mat, and then push this up to the ruler and just fold that along there like that. And then that's going to go back to there. And um, we're going to use the bone folder just to get that edge nicely crisp. Okay, so we're halfway there. Now this bit, we're going to bring up to the middle and then we're going to open it out. And it's a good idea to pop something in there just to make a nice little pointy bit at the bottom. And then we flatten that out just like that. And, um, and we make the little closure there like that and now we're going to bring this down and um, not right to this fold there's a fold there we don't want to bring it right down we're just going to bring it down enough so that it fits in to the uh, the little closure and then fold that again and there you can see it's just very slightly not down to the bottom of that fold so that we don't have problems with paper folding itself up. And we can tuck that in there. And there's our little envelope. Now, being an envelope, we could cut away all these little bits. Now, I did do that with this. And I also, because it's a white paper, I backed it with some of the um, the kit for the folio that I, the journal I was using at the time. So that's entirely up to you. Um, the other thing that I would recommend, having made a couple now, is that you do the inking before you glue it all together. Because as you can see on this, um, I've made quite a tatty mess of the inking. And that was due to the fact that I was trying to ink it after I'd um, I glued it together. So I was sticking bits of paper in and trying to ink, you know, while it was lying down. And um, it, it wasn't all that efficient. And uh, I did make quite a mess of it, as you can see. And um, obviously I'm going to have to do something about that. But at the moment, it'll do as it is. So there we are. So what I'd recommend now is that we open it out. And, um, <clears throat> and then we'll have to work out how to put it back together again. So we're going to trim these little corners out as so though it's a proper envelope. Like that. And that's the, um, the fold that goes up there. And it's entirely up to you whether you, um, whether you trim out these inside these, um, these here. Um, it, I mean, it's only to get rid of bulk, but I mean, it's such a, um, a small piece of ephemera and such a tiny little uh, envelope that um, really at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to make a lot of bulk, but we'll do it anyway, uh, just for the exercise. And, um, <coughs> and uh, there we are. So that goes up to there. No, it doesn't. That, <laughs> see, this is where we fall down, isn't it? Yeah, that goes up to there. That's it. This goes up to here, like that. And these fold in. That one folds into there. That one folds into there. That one folds up like a little bird's beak. 
and then that goes in to there. So um, it's a really sweet little envelope. And then inside, you've got a pocket there and a pocket there. Now I'm going to trim these because that's very annoying, having that little white bit there. And actually, it doesn't, you don't actually see it until you fold you fold it flat so just going to trim that off there and then same with this side I'm just going to trim that off there and then I'm going to ink it and uh, I'm not going to go mad with the inking actually I'm just going to ink all of the folds and all of the edges and uh, I'm not sure what's going to show and what isn't going to show, to be honest, because you sort of get a bit confused, don't you, one while you're making it. So I'm going to I'm going to um, just ink all the edges to start with and see what happens, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so that's that, and then I'm going to ink slightly more on the coloured side and there we are and some of these are just going to be folded in but not to worry and then I'm going to ink along the folds This is going to be in like that and up like that. So I'm going to ink this fold. And that goes up like that. And then I'm going to ink this part and that part and this part. And I'm going to fold that back. And I'm just going to ink that part a little bit. Right, let's see if we're in with the chance now. How far have we got? Okay, so that's inked. Ah, we haven't inked this side. And we haven't inked here. Fold that. Just ink that. And that. And there. It's a lot of inking for such a tiny little envelope. There we are. Okay, so that goes up like that. And that could do with a bit of ink in there. And a bit of ink in there. And there we are. And that goes, that's actually come off there. So we'll have to give that a little bit of a, an ink. There we are. But we are going to put something on there. So there it is. Now all we've got to do is to pop some glue on it um, to fasten it down. So um, I'm going to pop some glue down here. along here. I notice I didn't put any glue up here because I want that to stay open. And actually think maybe we should have glued this bit here and this bit here. But we found these things out as we're going along and uh, there's no experts in this building, obviously. Obviously, I'm not one making these envelopes because I only found them the other day on the paper outpost. And um, I just thought, oh, wow, well, that's good. Uh, made one. So um, I think until you've made a few, three or four, you don't really... Um, you don't really know what you're doing and there we are that's a proof because i've actually glued that down now and that's supposed to be a pocket so it should have only have glued i 
I should only have glued the bottom there. So that that is still a pocket. And so with this one, I only want to glue along the bottom. Excuse my big sigh there. Obviously feeling a bit sorry for myself making that mistake on camera. There we are, not to worry. And then pop a little bit of glue under here. Just to hold that in place. It's gone a bit mad there with that glue. The light gone out now. I have found that the, um, the battery that I use, I charge it up overnight, and I have found that it doesn't really last very long. And this is the second video I've done actually today, so it's uh, it's not lasted long enough. So that goes in there like that, and we have a pocket there and a pocket there and uh, and it closes up like that so there we are just put these away tidy up and there's our three our three uh, our three envelopes made from six by six papers and obviously you can decorate this one up if you want to and uh, maybe put something on this side as I did and something there on the closure and they all look very nice don't they okay well thank you for watching sorry about the little lighting issue there at the end but I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you next time bye bye